about the working of the Spirit. I want to be recognized as the origin of the word which comes to you from above through the working of my spirit, and therefore you should mention the unusual process through which you came into possession of extensive spiritual knowledge without external earthly aids. I want you humans to know that I speak to you directly in intimate contact if certain prerequisites are present, a living faith in me, which was gained through a life of love and a conscious inward listening, that you open your spiritual ear to the address which now happens through my spirit, through my share, which expresses itself in you, which instructs you and initiates you into the deepest secrets. That my word thus resounds in you, that you hear me myself in you. This process is only believable to a few people, otherwise all would accept my word and thus my spirit works, that is, it expresses itself to you. He introduces you to the truth. You who now hear my word, who receive it directly from me, you can now pass it on again, and anyone who listens to it or reads it in intimate union with me will also feel the strength of my word, he will be able to register increasing maturity of soul as an effect of my word, for I was also able to address him albeit indirectly through my messengers. But anyone who pays no attention to this word, who denies me myself as its origin, does not recognize the working of the Spirit, he knows nothing of the fact that I myself work in him who believes. I have promised you humans my Spirit, I have told you that I will remain with you until the end of the world. For I myself am the Word and thus I am always with those in the word who want to hear me and believe. The belief that I express myself, that I speak to you directly, is what I require in order to be able to speak to you. And I ask you, where is this faith still to be found? Are not the doubts far greater that you have about my word? And yet I have told you, out of your body will flow rivers of living water, my word will resume in you yourselves, the influx of my divine light of love will fill your heart when you yourselves prepare it to be the receptacle of the divine spirit. For the spiritual spark in you is my share, and thus it also knows everything and can therefore also instruct you from within. And this influx of the divine spirit into an open vessel, into a person's heart, is the working of God in the human being who can then divest himself of that which serves you for perfection, and thus you cannot go astray either if you have entered into this intimate bond with me, so that I can address you as evidence of my presence. Then you will not hear human words but God's word, who works in you who believe. And then you must also stand in truth, because only pure, truth can come forth from me. And if I then give you the task to spread my word because people need the pure, truth, then I therefore want fellow human beings to also experience the effect of my word on their souls, because my word is blessed with my strength and because all of you humans receive something delicious which cannot be replaced by anything. For it is a direct gift of my love, I myself lean down to you and address you, directly or indirectly but it is always my word, my address, which you hear when you accept the gift of grace offered to you. And truly, your soul will experience great blessings, it will mature, for the strength of my word will make the ascent to the height easy for it and it will reach its goal. It will unite with me still on earth and be able to enter the kingdom of light and bliss. Amen.